this demonstration, we have our A2 servo cylinder. This one's a 1.75 inch stroke equipped with a ball screw. The actuator shaft is coupled to a load cell and the load cell is coupled to a spring to apply the load. The load cell amplifier is outputting a voltage signal proportional to the load and that is being read into the servo cylinder's ADC. We have our Ultramotion 180 watt unregulated power supply to power the system and we're using a laptop to communicate with the actuator over RS-232. We're using a simple terminal program called PuTTY to send the commands. So over RS-232 I have full control of the actuator's position. I also have control over the actuator's speed and acceleration. I can set torque limits and uh, modify the torque on the fly. Uh, in addition to sending commands, I'm able to read uh, telemetry from the actuator, like the voltage, the temperature, uh, the current flowing through the coils, which is proportional to the torque, and some other variables. So here I'll set up the streaming columns to uh, provide an example of that. I'll set um, the streaming columns to set up uh, are to read the uh, 0.1 millisecond timer on the actuator, the actuator's position as defined by the phase index absolute position feedback and the analog voltage input which is coupled to the load cell. So here I will set the rate of the data streaming and have it go. So I can use this data stream, read it into a, uh, an Excel file and plot the data. I can also read this into lab view or save it to a text file. If I am not communicating over serial in this manner, and I would rather have a PLC or a microcontroller or lab you do it for me, it's typically better to operate in uh, what we call machine mode, where it eliminates uh, detailed messages to the user. It also uh, includes a checksum to ensure your data is, is good, and it includes an acknowledgement or a knack if the uh, command is bad. So here I'm entered into machine mode, and if I set it to stream again, you can see it checks some at the end, and there's also no echo of uh, what I'm commanding it coming back onto the terminal. So this has been just a brief overview of what you can do with the servo cylinder over RC32. If you have any additional questions or would like help choosing an actuator or um, getting assistance integrating the actuator into your application, you can just give us a call or contact us via our website, ultramotion.com.